Alright, let's get the 500. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Miami Marlins and the Chicago Cubs. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Baby Bean. So just about set it now. Third and on the hill for the Cubs, Hayden Wisniewski. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating for tough spots. Really I've just team. been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. With the punch out there, back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, Tucker. table setters on the base path. Ah, so that ends the inning, so we take a break. And the Marlins down quite. We go to the bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman, Christopher Morell. Singy, this kid's quite a story. Super talented. Maybe as good an arm as the Cubs have on their team defensively. One of their fastest players. He debuted at 22 years old after having played 10 games above double-A. Edwin Rios here. Yeah, and a high level of confidence. He actually called his first major league home run, told some teammates in the dugout that he was going to homer in his first at bat. Went up there, he hit a 417-foot blast into the left field bleachers. Next one misses, two and two. Can't glove it cleanly. Hit it, Eddie. Hit it hard. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Dansby Swanson stands in. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. One dance, man. And a ground ball to first. Rizzo takes it himself. Play made. That ends the inning. Top of the second. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. And now two and one. pitch swing and a One miss down. got him to go up the ladder for the K tell you what those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass it could take away your focus from the next hitter and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence and it's a multi-run home run time to look at our umpiring crew in this one kenny jansen behind the plate See? yeah and expect a little inconsistency on the corners he doesn't make any wild calls but he does give and take there a little bit so he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out especially as the game goes on when you're and down on strikes he goes and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Miami down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the second. And now Patrick Wisdom. Wisdom, a former first round pick of the Cardinals back in 2012 from St. Mary's College. Same school that produced both Corbin Burns and Tony Gonsolin. The big Stay lefty hot, turns, Patty. kicks, deals. Good eye. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. Rizzo puts it away. And there are two down. 
Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Second inning here, no score. Not sure what's going on right there, no chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. And the next pitch is way outside. Next pitch is pumped up. Garrett right there to make the grab. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. Avasail Garcia up to the plate. Now this is in the air down the line. That one hops against the fence. Around first, digging for two. And he's got a leadoff double. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the plate for him, so that one has to feel good. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Another 1-2. And a ball pitch. evens the count. Out towards left center. And it's into the gap. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Now the tag is second, it's and he's out. Try right. for two. And up next for Miami, Joe Rizzo. Right. Next offering is in for a strike. One, two. And a swing and a miss. And two away now. Well, oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me written all over it, and ah. clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch get like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Popped up. Morrell makes the catch, and that is that. Here at Wrigley Field, and now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Even up. Two Let's see. Ball. Two That's get up, right. ball. Come on. Let's go. And get three on your fourth seed. Got to go. He's digging for second. We got to go. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay to third, and he's oh, out. Really nice job of hitting right there, but you've got to be a better base runner than that and understand the situation. With nobody out, you've got to be able to shut it down, stay at second, keep yourself in scoring position instead of killing a potential rally. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Bounced up the middle. Nice grab. Over to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. The next on, offering yeah. misses. Three and two down. <laughs> this one in the air center field. Chisholm puts the squeeze on that one, and that is the on the north side of Chicago. John Chambi and Chris Singleton as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's the shortstop, Garrett Hampson. You know, these Marlins showing great The Reds are leading the NL Central right now. Patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Got him, and he's down on strikes. For the second time today, Luis Arise stands in. One down, base is empty. That one way outside, and yeah, that's ball two. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Shoots a line drive single into right center, so a man aboard now with one away. He's been swinging it really well lately. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. 
This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Bangs off the wall. And he's got a double. All right. Well, as not hitting continues, he's been getting great results lately. Looks so close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Oh, on, oh, that got him. And that's going to force in a run. Base is loaded. One away. Pitch misses. Now two and two. Next offering upstairs. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect... Oh, my goodness. Three, got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. The 1-1. One, one. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Two outs. Goes down looking. Oh, let's go. Come on. So they get back here at the friendly confines. Bottom of the fourth. Here's the second baseman, Christopher Morell. That misses the zone. Two and one. You know, these Cubs, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of get the down strike ball. Zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Garcia tracks it down for the out. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond. And they Let's go. That one gets down, fair yeah, ball. And that rolls into the corner. Safely into second. He's got a double. Needed that. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Come on, Dave. Away, that's exactly what you want to do with it. Drive it the other way. And right there, just barely able to keep it fair down the line for the double. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So now it's the Cubs hitter in the four hole. Patrick Wisdom. Patrick Wisdom. Let's go. Stay hot right there. No doubt about it. Patrick Wisdom leaves the yard, and we're level. It's 2-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his time bang, bang. locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Brennan Davis, the next cup to hit. That oh. misses the zone, and that's ball three. In the air, out towards left center. De La Cruz Friend makes Davis the grab no of the problem. run. Cubs add two on this homer. 2-2 two -two game. Back here at Wrigley Field, ready now for the fifth inning. And now for the Marlins, Joe Rizzo on the ground to third. Wisdom on the first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. You know, that looks routine, but it hasn't been so easy for this club defensively this year. And you got to make those routine plays behind a pitcher. It helps him to get more comfortable and move through this ball game. Next pitch has popped up. Pulls it in to a win. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Eddie. Swing and a ball hammered left field. And caught okay. on the warning track. Nothing doing for And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the DH, Eric Hosmer. Next pitch inside, and that's ball two. Miami's bullpen with some action. Johnny Cueto, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Sanchez getting cranked up as well. Oh, good piece of hitting, kid. Two-two down. Come on. Win it. Got 
batted Ooh. by him for the K. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke now hard out right. of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but down. you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Nice grab on the run. Two down. And now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. Come on, Tucker. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. Out to short. Whips it across. Out number three. Nothing happened. Here at Wrigley Field, top of the sixth inning. And now, Luis arrives. Out to short. Throw not in time. It's an unlikely. Why are we sitting single. back? I don't know. What Go was that? On base. Jazz Chisholm Jr. will hit get next. The, ball, dude. the next pitch misses. What that was. And it's two and one. And a strike in there. Hammer down the line. Base hit. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Three to two. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Brian De La Cruz now at the plate. Runner breaks for third. That's in for a strike. Pro save. That's a stolen base. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Got him looking. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just a great slider right there, and I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Jacob Stallings now. Got him Go. swinging. Two men left straight. Now a right-handed arm out of the bullpen, Johnny on. Cueto. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Tosses to first, and Gomes is retired. And up next for Chicago, Christopher Morrell. The one-two. Brown ball up the middle, that's a base hit. One down. Edwin Rios, the next cup to hit. One for two. Come on, Edwin. Swings and misses. Now one and two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Steven Oker, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Barnes getting loose as well. Morrell leads off first with one away. That one Good inside. Eye, on, two and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And there's a big hit. He's going to go the other way. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline Come on, pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. And now here Let's is Dansby Swanson. This one blasted. Left center field on its way. And that. that one is out of here. Dansby Swanson hits one out. His fourth home run of the season. It's 5-3. Bang, bang. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Matt Barnes comes on now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. 
Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. And a 1-1. One -one. And now the count. 1-2 and two <laughs> after the swing and the miss. And a swing and a miss. And that's right, that. Come on. Shut down inning. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three run. Adrian Sampson will take over here. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game is going to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Next pitch is outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Next offering is foul back. The kick, the 3-2. Hatch misses. It's a strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. I mean, you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Segura out in the play. Got him. Go. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Steven Oker taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Here's Hosmer. Come on, Hos. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. In the dirt, Stallings collects, fires the first. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Come on, Tuck. Tucker Barnhart digs in now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the... We're at the top of the eight, and at the plate for Miami, Luis arrives. New pitcher in the game for the Cubs, Brandon Hughes. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. The pitch. And now two and two. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Left-hand batter waits to third. Wisdom on the first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Swing and a miss. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Two down, nobody on. And another ball. Good eye in that spot. And he walked him. <laughs> Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to, he's just on, not going outside of what he's looking for up there. Two and one now. Oh. Next offering misses down and away. De La Cruz off of first with two away. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Adbert Alzola. These are the spots where the yeah, yeah. really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason that throw is low, oh, and he can't pick it. Unbelievable, man. <clears throat> and now, Jacob Stallings. And now the count filled up three and two. So all three runners will be off of the full count pitch. Oh Swing and a goodness. miss struck him out. That's out number three. So coming into the game now on defense, John Birdie. He'll be out in left field. Tanner Scott on a pitch out of the pen here. 
He's making his second appearance of the season. And now it's even up. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. So up now for Chicago. Christopher Morrell. The 1 1. See the velocity 97 with that fastball. Fights that one away, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Way inside, and that hit him. Unbelievable. He had him one, two, and he ends yeah. up hitting him with a pitch. I think he's getting hit whether he tries to get out of the way or not. That just seemed to be tracking him out of the pitcher's hand. Runner takes off, puts a bunt down. Scoops it up barehanded to third. The tag, and they got him. That was a great bunt. And now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Right, Swings through it for the K. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Well struck left field. And off the base of the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Oh, really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. They're not ready to go home quite yet. And the count one and two. No, they're willing to give up one and ball. out here. Good this start. is a big spot, so you have to make it count. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And Chris, and that's hurt. a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts one. pressure on everyone. Two. If he can put Boom. it in the first ball game. Boom. And the Cubs take the first two games of this series. A 5-3 